Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about that how we can install and configure Burp Suite in our system. So Burp Suite by default comes with two editions. So the one is professional and second one is free. So like if you are a beginner and you just started doing security testing, then I recommend you that please download its free edition. But if you are working in any security company and if you are a web penetration tester, then I think you might have its professional one. If you don't have it, just buy it. So the reason behind that is that scanner tab in Bob Suite, which do automatically security testing comes with Bob Suite professional. So that's why in order to use automatic web application testing tab of scanner in Bob Suite, you have to buy it professional one so you can download Bob suite from here from their website that is portsfigure.net so once we have the Bob suite now let's see that how our lab setup will looks like so you can see over here that this is how our setup will looks like here is our browser that is firefox here will be our Bob suite and here will be our web server so what we will do we will configure our Bob suite between our browser and between our server so that each and every request which is being sent by our browser will first go through the Bob suite where we can actually manipulate that request and then we can send that request to the web server. So this is how our lab setup will looks like. Now let's talk about that what else we need in order to complete our lab setup. So one important thing which we need is vulnerable web application. So why vulnerable web application? Because we can't use Bob Suite on live websites or on some other websites because that's illegal. So that's why in order to do security testing or practicing Bob Suite, we need some vulnerable web applications which are totally free and then we can use in our local system. So we need this, that is OWASP broken web application. So you can download this application from this URL. So this OWASP broken web application virtual machine consists of various web applications which you can use in order to do security testing by using Bob Suite or by doing just manual testing. So this is what we need. Now let's install Bob Suite in our system. Now let's install Bob Suite as well as OWASP broken web application in order to do manual security testing. So you can download Bob Suite from here from their official URL that is portsfigure.net. So once you are here, there are two Bob Suite editions which you can download. So the one is Community Edition which is totally free and the one is Professional. So if you are a cybersecurity professional and if you are working in any organization, then I recommend you guys that please download this professional one because it contains a lot of feature including web vulnerability scanner. So I already have Community Edition downloaded which you can just see on my desktop and I have already installed it. So now let's see how Bob Suite looks like. So you can see over here that whenever you start Bob Suite, it will tell you whether it's a free edition or whether it's a professional edition. So you can see over here that my is free edition Bob Suite. So whenever we will start a Bob Suite, by default, there is a temporary project which is selected. So if you just buy its professional one, then we can actually create a new project, we can save a new project, even we can import an existing project. But for the time being, we have to just go with a temporary project, use burp defaults and click on start burp. So you can see over here that it's starting that project. So we have to wait for a time being. So you can see over here that this is how the burp suite looks like. There are different tabs like proxy, spider, scanner, repeater, decoder and extender also. Now let's see how we can install OWAS broken web application. So in order to install OWAS broken web application, what we have to do, we have to go to this URL that is sourceforce.net slash projects slash OWAS BWA that is OWAS broken web application slash files. So you can see over here that the latest one is 1.2. So let me open it up. And you can see over here, there are lots of OWASP broken web application files, but we need this file that is OWASP broken web apps VM and that is .ova file means it's already an appliance. So now what we have to do is you must have virtual box so that you can install OWASP broken web application inside it. So you can download virtual box from here from their official website that is virtualbox.org. So you can download virtual box from here. 
depending upon your operating system you can download it whether you want to download it for Mac Linux and even for Windows operating system so you can see all the links over here and one more good news is that Bob Suite is already installed in Kali Linux that if you are using Kali Linux then you don't have to uh, download and install Bob Suite you just have to open your terminal just write Bob Suite there hit enter and voila you will get your Bob Suite so you can see over here that I have already installed Oracle VirtualBox and this is how the Oracle VirtualBox looks like. So in order to use Oracle VirtualBox, we have to make a new virtual machine or we have to make a new operating system. But a little tricky thing in this OS broken web application is that we don't have to make a new virtual machine. So the reason behind that is this OS broken web application dot OVA file is actually an operating system itself. So what we have to do, we just have to download it and then we just have to import it in our virtual box. So you can see over here that I have already installed this OS broken web application OVA file and it's just near about I think 2.6 gigs. So you can see over here it's the size is 2.4 gigs. And now what we have to do, we just have to open our Oracle virtual box. So we just have to go over file and you can see over one option called as import appliance. So let me open it up and now we have to just give a location of that OVA file and it's present on my desktop. So you can see over here, let me click on open, next and you can see over here that Oracle VirtualBox has pulled out the configuration of that operating system. So you can see over here the name description is OVAS broken web application and this operating system is actually Ubuntu 32 bit you can see the RAM and some few more details now let's click on import and you can see over here that it has started importing that operating system in our virtual box so we have to wait for a time being okay so you can see over here that we have successfully imported OVAS broken web application and you can see over here so before we start this application we have to change some network settings so just select that operating system and click on settings and on the left hand side there is one option called as network so you can see over here that by default this network setting is set it to NAT mode but we but what we have to do, we just have to click on bridge adapter and depending upon what kind of internet connection you are using, like if your laptop is connected through wireless, then you have to select the wireless and if you are using an ethernet cable, then you have to select an ethernet connection. But for the time being, my laptop is actually connected with the wireless, so I have to select this, click on OK and now click on start. And you can also see here that in the OVAS broken web application description, the username is root and the password is OVAS BWA. So you can see over here that our broken web application operating system is being started. And now it will load some additional services like it will start PostgreSQL service, it will start Apache server and it will start a lot of things. Okay, so you can see over here that we are just prompted to OS broken web application login. So let's write here username as root and the password will be OS BWA that is broken web application. So as you all know that this OS broken web application contains lots, lot of vulnerable web application. So they have recommended to not put this operating system on a bridge mode. They have recommended to put this system on NAT network. But because of my internet connectivity, I have, I have did so. So depending on your internet connection, you can actually set that operating system on that particular network. So you can see over here that let's find out its IP address. So the IP address is 192.168.0.145. Now let me open my Firefox and now let's just write this IP address that is 192.168.0.143. And you can see over here 
that we are on OS Broken Web Application home page you can see here web application project and if I scroll down you will see various web application and all of them are vulnerable which we can use for doing manual security testing so you can see all the web application names like OS webgoat is here damn vulnerable web application bwap OS bricks is here and this one is my favorite OS mutily day and if I scroll down you can also find some vulnerable web application of PHP's WordPress you can find vulnerable content management system and there are a lot of stuffs so now we have our bob suite installed and now we have also installed our OS broken web application so now in the coming videos we will use bob suite in order to do security testing so in this video we saw that how we can install and configure our bob suite as well as how we can download and install OS broken web application in our system so thanks for watching this video